Hello everybody, it is Fast Life. I'm sorry, I'm trying to straighten up this thing because I'm about to drive. And today I want to talk about something so valuable to God and also to me because he was actually the one that gave me the inspiration to write this book and to have this book published. If you haven't gotten my book yet, I don't know what you are waiting for because it's extremely powerful. I always hear Victoria Cooper. I must give her heads up. I must give her, um, not heads up, but I'm gonna give her an applause because this girl words, everything that she has said on her broadcast speaks to my heart and I'm going to look for her address and make sure I send her a copy of my book. This is my life. This is my memoir. This is important. This is this. The Holy Spirit directed me to write this book strictly for parents and for young people that are going through traumatic stuff in their lives. Go to Amazon, put in Adele Kennedy because the publishers made a mistake with my first name. They didn't put that in. So you will put in I-D-E-L Kennedy. That's Amazon. Go on uh, Walmart to order the book online. Same thing, Pastor Life. You just go there and just put in Courage Inspired by God and it will come right out. Courage Inspired by God. Go on Barnes & Noble, Courage Inspired by God. It will come up. I'm telling you guys, you will not regret because it wasn't me that wrote this story of my own life. I was afraid. But the Holy Spirit had to touch my heart in order for me to write my book. Courage Inspired by God. Okay, now I'm going to go through some th stuff, but first of all, I have, let me just say a prayer over the platform before I go for it. Victoria Cooper, thank you for giving me that courage. When I listened to one of your broadcasts, I actually got that courage to say, life, it's about time now that you begin to speak about your book all over the place. And I have been doing that, but I haven't done it on TikTok, neither have I done it on, on um, YouTube which are the two platforms that I'm really strong on, but you know, I've been going other places and speaking about it too. And, and so help me God, he's giving me the tenacity to talk about it, not to ill, not to ill talk down on anybody, but to tell people about the goodness of Jesus and what he has done in my life. Okay, so I'm gonna go forth with this. Um, Courage Inspired by God is a book that the Holy Spirit place on my heart to write about my story people out there needs to hear your story people out there needs to know what it is that you have encountered how have you come from this level that they knew that you was on of, of brokenness of distress of depression of everything in the world to come to a place in your life where there is shalom to come to a place in your life where there is peace to come to a place in your life where you tell god god for you i have made a vow that everything else in my life does not matter the only thing that matter is to make sure i am pleasing the father and doing his will accordingly that's it. That's all that matters in my life. And treating people right. And not doing the things that was done to me to other people. Oh, God. This is going to be part one, part two, part three. This is part one of my book. Before you go to get it, I will just go through it just a little bit briefly. Before I can, um, before you, well, so that you guys can go ahead and get the book. Get the book. There's no need to stop. Get, get the book. I'm telling you, get the book. Courage inspired by, by God by Pastor Life Adele Kennedy. Go and get your copy. Anywho, my life, I want to talk to the young people on my broadcast, the youth. And adults too, because it was still in my adult stage. When I got in my adult stage around let's say around 18, I was still going through traumatic depression. I was still going through stuff that would have taken me out. I was still going through these things that I didn't understand life. I didn't understand. I was not like a, a, a young lady that was out there doing whatever. No, I was never like that. I was not brought up like that by my grandmother. I was someone that was very close to Actually, it was like, I just, 
I just wanted God more. At the age of 11 was when I gave my life to Christ. At the age, not at the age of 11, but at the age of seven years ago. I don't even know how that happened because it was like my dog baby became Jesus, my best friend, because I was getting so abused by my mother. I was getting so abused, so beaten. I was beat down, things happening to me, pepper put in my eyes and in my mom everywhere on my body, my private area, everywhere I was being treated like a dog. And I always wonder, I would go to my mother to give her a hug and she would reject me. And I would always wonder, Lord, where is my real mother? And I remember God saying to me at a very, very young age, I am that mother and that father. And I remember that I was seven years old, I would never forget. And that's when my relationship with God began because everywhere I turned was nothing but chaos with me and my mother. My mother and I are very estranged even up to now. Um, the relationship with me and her is not correct, you know. But for me personally, I have forgiven her for what she's done to me. Now I have to live my life depending on God and looking up towards the hills for when's coming my help because I can't force anyone to love me. You know what I mean? I found love in Jesus. It took courage for me to love again. It took courage for me to make friends again. It took courage because I was so brutalized at a little age, exposed, uh, uh, beatings and flocking. And in Africa, there's no joke. It, 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 it's something that, that will, it, it, it destroys a person's self-esteem. And that's what it did to me when I was a young girl in my seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. My self-esteem was broken and destroyed totally destroyed I felt like my mother hated me but why does she have me that's why my name is life I'm sorry this is why I was named life because they tried to kill me in the womb she tried to abort me in the womb she tried to take me away in the womb but because God had his hands upon my life God said you can do whatever you want to do but if you touch the child you will be gone and the child will live I only use you as a vessel to carry my baby I only use you as a vessel to bring her in this world so I, I, I just come to speak I didn't want to go into preaching this evening I want to talk about this book called courage many young people I'm talking to my young people I'm talking to my adults I'm talking to those that are growing up in the things of God and you feel rejected abandoned and you feel like the whole world have turned against you I'm telling you I was like the black sheep in my family and still is I'm telling you and this is why the Lord taught me step by step you're gonna have to love these people from a distance you're gonna have to love them because the minute you enter the room, they hate you. They hate you because there's an anointing upon your life. They hate you because you are carrying the glory of God upon your life. They hate you because you have accomplished amongst women more. You've kept yourself for the gospel of Jesus Christ until God will send you a husband. You prepare, you ask God, prepare me, oh Lord, order my steps. So I come to tell somebody. Uh, I was so depressed in my, my youth, my youth. I was so depressed until I, I, there were times I wanted to take my life in my hands. And it was so the pressure was so much on me that I had a brain tumor twice. Not once, twice, because of the pressure of thinking that nobody loves me. Well, I come to encourage my youth and my adults this evening. Children of the Most High God, if you are chosen by God, you are going to go through some technical stuff in life. If you are chosen by God, you are going to hit some hot waters. If you are chosen by God, people in your family will hate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a living testimony. If you are chosen by God, oh, they hate it. Jesus, Jesus said they hated me in the world. What make you think they're gonna love you? <coughs> and I began to excuse me, y'all. I don't like to talk about my story too much because it brings tears to my eyes. Why must you hate someone because? You feel like you didn't want the pregnancy. So this book, Courage Inspired by God, this book, ladies, 
Don't bring a child in this world to make her suffer, to make him suffer. Don't bring babies in this world if you know that you are not ready to, to nurture them, if you know you are not ready to prune them, if you know you are not ready to cultivate them, if you know you are not ready to place within them the power of the Holy Ghost to pray with them and let the Holy Ghost of fire fill in them. Don't bring them in this world if you are not going to love them. That's my point. I suffer as a little girl. Oh, Jesus. Brothers and sisters turned against me. None of them wanted to ever say a word to me. And you know, at that point in time in my life, I was like, what's going on, Lord? Why do everybody have to hate me? What did I do? Was it, I didn't ask to be born. I was born. God said you was created for a time such as this, Esther. <laughs> A time such as this and you got to tell your story so that other people that are going through the same is and the same uh, uh, issues and the same set of dilemma and the same set of uh, 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 obstacles and troubles will know that there is a God that is able to save them love them cultivate them and take them as his own John 3 16 says he gave his life on that cross so he gave his life on that cross. It says, For God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten Son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. I vow to believe in my God. Courage inspired by God will encourage you to stay on course. It will encourage you to love your children. There are love languages your children can uh, can try to illustrate to you sometimes. It may just come through their ways of doing things and you don't even know. And there you are just yelling at them, cursing at them, beating at them, saying all sort of things. And my mom used to call me a witch. Used to call me, you go on outside. I have other children too. But she didn't understand the power that God was, was raising up a warrior. She they didn't understand that it would take this black sheep in the family to pray for people that were sick, for people that were on death bed, to wake up out of their slumber. Oh yeah, brothers and sisters forsook me and so did. Uh, says, as for my sisters, forget it. They told they to me on the other side of the road. Why? Because my name was not their last name. And you know what? I will not trade in my name because I want to be loved for you. Well, loved by them. Ignorance ignorance and the spirit of humility did not lie in these in those kids and today today it still goes on inside of them but what do i do i pray for them and the lord said you got to get this book out you got to get it out because people need to hear this people need to hear your story people need to understand why sometimes people that go through so much stuff in their lives needs to understand other people need to understand oh i see this is why sometimes this uh life a uh, pastor life keeps to herself she doesn't like too many people around her that's right you know why because i've got burned so many times and god is teaching me how to be alone by myself how to love me how to love being alone and i love it so much i've been there for many years i love being alone and I, in the process of doing that our god gave me a ministry that i have raised up in west africa right here in the united states of america encouraging the youth of today to not commit suicide don't give don't give up your life because you feel like your family have forsaken you don't give up your life because you feel like nobody is there for you don't give up your life because you feel because listen at the end of the day they will still be enjoying life on earth while you are gone and going to a place that you don't even know of Jesus love you too much you are too important to God your life means something you are valuable in the eyes of God therefore God wants you to live uh -huh. he wants you to live to decree and declare his word to the earth and that's what the Lord told me your voice will be heard in nations I come to this earth not only was born in this uh, to this earth but I was born just to serve God that's the purpose of my life and I see it now and my life is right in alignment with what God wants me to do now in my life tears doesn't fall if my tears fall off my eyes it's because I'm so thankful to God for where he brought me from up to where I am now I want to read a passage from the book even though I'm driving just one passage why I am driving okay this is chapter 7 and it's on page 36 when you do get the book you might want to read that it's pretty powerful it says building character in you uh-huh 
these are the reasons why we go through the things that we go through. Bear with me, y'all. You know I'm driving. These are the reasons why we go through the things we go through. This says tough times make tough people tougher. So the saying goes, right? Uh huh. But it takes the power of the spirit of the living God to hold you together. When one been broken, let me stop there. I'm not gonna go anymore with this book. Purchase it and get your own copy. It takes tough times to to make them. When people have have done so much to to you, they have broken everything inside of you, and you still stand on the word of God and say, "For Jehovah I live, and for Jehovah I turn my back against everything." For Yeshua Amashia, I have dedicated myself to God. And listen, it don't matter what comes my way. For God I live, and for God I die. It don't matter what people have to say. It don't matter what my naysayers are doing all things are working together for good for those that love Jesus and that are called by his name so don't give up in the fight you self fighting go get your copy I'm gonna end it up right here go get your copy let me tell you something child of God you are too important to God you are too important to God you are too important to God you are too valuable to God you are too valuable to God you are the apple of his eyes and because of that Go and get your copy. He loves you too much for you to sit there contemplating suicide. That devil is a liar. And I speak the peace of God over your life this evening. I speak the life of God over your life. And I speak shalom over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen, if you don't get a copy of this book, that doesn't mean the book won't sell because it's selling like crazy. It's everywhere. It's on Amazon. It's, on, it's in Walmart. It's all over the place. Get your copy now. There's coming a conference for my book launching. I have not yet launched this book because the Lord has not given me the utterance to do it. But it's coming up soon. It's going to be here at the Marriott Hotel. And I'm praying that all of my followers that follow me on YouTube, on Instagram, on um, what you call the thing, TikTok, all of you that I love so dearly, children of the most high, chosen vessels, I'm praying that you all will be able to make it to Providence, Rhode Island, just a little island in, 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 in a little nice, cute little island in Providence area, full of water and beauty. Yes, yeah, so I'm praying that you guys will be able to make it. I have not yet set a date nor a time for this conference. It's going to be a huge conference. It's going to be a power-filled conference. It's going to, to, to really speak to the hearts of many people. And I pray that God uses many of us in this day and time to do His will. I love you guys so much. You guys know who this is. It's Pastor Life and always, I love you and I send love of the Holy Ghost, of the Spirit of the Living God to continue to guide and protect your life. Listen. Get your copy. Don't wait any longer. Get your copy. We must be our brother's keeper. Go and be a support for Breath of Life. Love you. Courage inspired by God. Love you guys. Bye for now.